RuneScape 3. The original RuneScape. A game once loved by many, through controversial updates and changes. Now a game loved by few, and hated by most. In this series, with a fresh account and a new start, I want to explore what the game has to offer, focusing on differences to old school RuneScape, and what's changed from that game we all used to love. Let's together see if the game has hidden gems and interesting content that the average person won't find without playing the game. And what's the appeal to keep playing this game for so many people? Is it refused to change and start over? Or is there something we're all missing? Let's find out together. So what's up guys and welcome back to another episode. So we ended the last episode with 105 thieving and we're now up to 109 and we've just been doing a bit of elves and some safe cracking. So enjoy the video. Alright lads, so it's almost double XP, we are 1.5 mil off 110 thieving and I'm going to sell up, I have been slacking a bit where I've been playing on the Iron Man quite a bit, but we're going to sell up and see how much money we have. So we got ourselves 27 mil, it's not like a loot from, because it's not really accurate, because I have been doing a bit of bossing, I've died occasionally, had to pay death costs, and I think I, I've just like spent like 10 mil on random shit as well, um, so not very accurate, but decent. The best thing we probably got are a pair of brawler gloves, which give insane XP, that's like a million woodkind XP, and I fucking hate woodkind. Um, sad we only saw one pair, but they are pretty rare. So the time has come boys, the clock is ticking, let's get thieving. So I'm going to start by using all my proteins and other shit and levels are probably going to be a bit all over the place as it's double XP weekend, but let's get cracking. And there's the first level of double XP, 88 smithing. And there we have 89, just finished up with some bars as was really close off them proteins. And we just got ourselves 86 Hunter. I always feel like dummies are just not that great, especially the combat ones. I feel like you could just get way more XP just doing ED3 or something. So our brawlers have just run out. We're going to probably spend our time doing a bit of herb lore. I haven't spent too much money on it, but we got a lot of bonus XP and probably a lot of summoning. I'm probably going to drop my whole cash stack on it. And I've also got some portable banks if no one else is using them. And there's the first Herb Lore level. I am hitting hella XP. At the moment, I'm getting 5k a potion. This is pretty mad, but I'm going to run out of pulse cores pretty quick. But look at that XP drop. Oh, 5.1. Oh, level 88 already. We're going to get so many gains. And level 90 is hit literally minutes later. <laughs> this is so quick. It's so disgusting. Old school players look away now. Oh, we're halfway there. 92 has been hit. And there we have 95. This is so filth how fast it is. Iron Titan, Monkey. Okay, maybe not. I thought that unlocked the Pack Yak. One more level for Pack Yak. And another one. 96 has been hit. Unlocking the pack yak beastie milestone next milestone really is 99 for the steel titan boys And we just got max combat. I didn't even realize nice and we are about to get 99 coming in wasting everyone's double XP Weekend time to come be in the clip boys, but there it is Another 99. I think that's 99 number 11 man pretty crazy and here it is boys the uh, beautiful cape not too bad looking for uh, the normal one. Let's see if it has a retro though. Dude, the retro looks so funny. I don't think I've seen it before. The icon looks so weird. <laughs> it's like a really scuffed dog. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, this is the first cape where I probably actually prefer the normal one to the retro because that just looks stupid. It's official, boys. I found a cape. I'm not going to keep retro. It's this one. Normally, I would keep them all retro, but I think this one actually looks better. Yeah, uh, 99 summoning cost me 22 mil. Well, 100 summoning because we got it to 100. That was uh, hella cheap, to be fair, doing fire talismans. All right, I just wasted a load of uh, proteins by converting them to bars, and we have over 500. This is going to be uh, hella nice. And we have just got ourselves level 90. We're nearly out of proteins, though, but we've unlocked the Elder Rune. 
And there we have 110. Not quite sure where I'm going to do updates because there's not much interesting going to happen over the next 10 levels. We are at 38 mil and 120 is like fucking over 100 mil. It's going to be a while. Uh, we just got 100 mil defense, getting close to uh, 120, just 4 mil to go. And we're nearly 99 dungeoneering, so we'll get that shortly. The most passive of 99s, 99 dungeoneering. I've done about one hour of dungeoneering in total. This is all from ED3 and ED2s and whatever. So we've got a lamp with just a couple K off. Dungeoneering. Kaboom. There it is, 99. I don't know if I've... I can't even re remember what the cape looks like. I think it's brown. I don't know if it has a retro. I'm I guess it does. But I have no idea what it's going to look like. So let's go check it out. Let's grab the cape. All right, here it is. We've got the cape. Pretty sweet. The 120 looks pretty nice. I remember uh, seeing that quite early in my RS3 journey. Um, so yeah, let's do the retro and see what that looks like. Dude, this retro is so nice. I've never seen it retro. I don't think anyone has it retro. Because it's not a skill that was really about when retro... No, it probably was actually. We probably did have retro capes for this. Because it's not that new. But damn, that looks hella nice. It looks so nice. Boys, it goes so nice with the outfit. I finally got a cape that just actually goes with the outfit. Looks so good. So we have actually done a bit of archaeology. We are 41, but I've not actually done anything. That's why I haven't recorded it. All I've done is the material caches and sell the stuff. And I've used the money to buy a fuckload of silver hawks. So if you look here, we are 95 agility. I'm hoping I don't get PK because I think you lose these because I've got like 350 silver hawks on me and i got a bunch more in the g that i've bought overnight haven't actually been playing that much where i've been on the iron man so much but any i've been logging in every day and just doing my keys and any bonus xp we've got i have stuck on thieving herb law and agility just to make them a little bit more easier but i think it was probably a waste putting them on thieving because like you put like a big star which you get like 80k it's gone in a matter of minutes so i'm probably not going to do that again i am thinking agility will probably be our next 99 is 95 but it'll probably be passive and thieving wise we're getting pretty close to 114 and we just got ourselves 114 and we still have such a long way to go for 120 my god how much for the next level six mil oh and we just picked up 96 agility. We still got so many silver hawks left as well, but we're running low on bonus XP. So I thought I'd try my luck and do a bit of a big game hunter. And uh, hello, Dragon Matok. I believe these sell for 109. I think they're like 110 mil. Uh, that is a nice drop, man. I've only done, what, five? And then like three? And then four? So, like, like 12 or something. I don't know, 12, 13 kills. Yeah, nice. All right, we managed to get 104 mil for that. I wanted to sell it quick. I didn't want to slow sell as these just keep dropping. So, yeah, cash tag 195 mil right now. Hell yeah. Time to upgrade my range setup. It is pretty pitiful. So, the first thing we're going to do is the Pernix boots. They were 11 mil just for a boot upgrade <laughs> they look like fucking clown shoes but yeah that's one upgrade 11 mil down oh isn't that a different look for me in my range gear we went for the full pernix it was like 25 mil for the top 23 the hat was like 8 mil and the boots were like 11 so big upgrade it does degrade so we have augmented it and we'll have to uh yeah take this bad boy for a spin soon problem is now is i don't have any perks on this gear Ugh. And we just got ourselves the big 100 invention, which, you know, is a skill that actually goes to uh, 120, so it's not even virtual, which looks nice. Look at that, 100, 100, 101. That looks pretty smooth. So if we take a look at our weapon gizmo, it has one, two, three, four, five slots. But there's an item I just brought off the GE called Ancient, an Ancient Gizmo Blueprint. It was 12 mil, and it should allow me yes to unlock ancient gizmo so let me unlock this quickly so if we take a look at the ancient one this has nine slots so that means you are just way more likely to get what you want by using more at one shot well 
I unlocked all the invention stuff I wanted to do. I got a bunch of invention components. And by the time I've done all that, I now have 40 mil left. Plus, I need to give a bond away in my next video. So, pretty much got like under 20 mil. So, we're going to leave the perking for now until we come across a nice hefty cash stack again. The thing is, as well, we're having invention level 100 and not 120. I'm a quite a bit less likely to get the perks I want and I really just want best in slot perks and some of them are going to cost me about 150 mil each. I'd rather have no perk or best in slot perk, just the way I am. But at least we have everything unlocked, we got all the ancient stuff unlocked, all the components unlocked, ready for when we, you know, we got the cash to sink in to get some really good perks. So something I've been meaning to do on this account for a very long time is upgrade my overloads. I didn't really understand how to do it, but it's actually super straightforward. So I have normal overloads. If we head over to Prif, right up here in this uh, top corner, there's a person here. And if we go to view recipes, these are all the overload recipes you can buy as basically unlock them. I thought it'd be confusing because there's some that I knew were locked. I thought most of them would be locked, but... The Holy Overload, which is a prayer pot and an overload in one, you actually get more doses as well. We're going to unlock that. I think that's 700k. And then we have the Searing Overload, which is an overload and an anti-fire in one. We're going to unlock that as well. And then we also here have the Supreme Overload, which is just a better overload. We're going to unlock that one as well. And I think that will do for now. There are some other ones here that look good, but I'll just stick with them free for now. So to make this holy overload, we need nine four dose normal overloads, nine four dose renewals, and nine crystal flasks, which you can just buy on the GE. And then we are going to need to get a boost because it's level 97. All right, we're going to request assistance off this dude. And ah, I don't think assistance work for overloads. Looks like it's time to sit in 84 and hope we get hit with a pulse core. Alright, we finally got hit by a pulse core. We should be able to make these now. Go. There we go. Okay, so these will basically turn my four dose overloads into six. So overloads are really hard to make and annoying and stuff. So just to get that extra two dose is really nice. So we're going to make a bunch of these quickly. So we're also going to make some of these searing overloads. So what these are is a super anti-fire and an overload in one. So if you're doing anything where you need an anti-fire, they're on the same cooldown anyway. You would normally drink like, you know, one and the other and you get your extra two doses. So pretty useful. Oh, just got a uh, 101 invention as well. Uh, we just got 97 agility, boys. Two more levels, but I'm running low on uh, bonus XP and stuff. But there is an oddment sale, so that has helped prolong it a little bit with these silver hawks. So I've never done a rack saw, and I know on my Iron Man I'm going to need to do this a lot as well. And I never even knew it was here. This is where it is. It's just south of uh, Port Phasmatis. Um, I'm going to be duoing it. Duoing it is actually super hard but i got my friend who's gonna teach me as we go through wow look at this place i'm gonna change the skybox i think but yeah let's have a look around Uh, oh god. Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> if I stand in that, or... Just spam... Oh. Uh, damn. Spam click. Just spam click. He usually doesn't cast something that quickly. We just got unlucky. Oh, oh hold on. I'm back, I'm back. Uh. <laughs> hey, we did it. Easy. At what point should I just gamble it? <laughs> Under 200k, I guess. I got 11. Ah, 750k. It's not a bad drop then, is it? So that was my first solo, but because I did it duo, um, that was a higher in rage. I think that was 80% or maybe 100. But let's see what the loot is from our first solo. What do we get? Uh, not great. I think the average is like four, 500k. I'm not too sure. But happy to get uh, my first solo kill. Drops are nuts. I just keep getting like over like over one mil pretty often all right we just got our first 100 in rage let's see what the loot is and it is all right it's like 500k 
So I currently have 12 kill count on the big spider boy. So I wanted to actually talk through a kill. I only know one path. There's actually three options. So I'm just going to talk about the bottom path, the one I know about. Okay, so because I'm using range, he'll use magic attacks. So you just pray magic. You light the web. You want to make sure you light this web as quickly as you can. There we go. The web is lit. Let's, uh, oh, let's not lose my adrenaline. And then we just drink a, ho uh, a holy overload and we drink an anti-poison. We're ready to go. So every five attacks from his last special. So that's one, two, and so on. Four, and then five. He'll, he will do a special attack, but I don't have anything on cooldown. So we've got to hope it's... Uh, oh, okay, it's that one. So you, it's really just a count in game. And you want to be using Anticipate and Freedom every five attacks. And when he does this web here, just try not to uh, attack him. If you are on a high enrage, sometimes you might accidentally get an attack off and it fucking hurts. It really, really hurts when he uh, bounces back like your big boy attacks. So once the web's burnt down, you don't necessarily want to go in straight away. You want to get him down to like 5k HP. Because this is stage one, that hallway is stage two, and then you've got stage three and four. Everything you don't damage him here will then be healed on him again in stage three. So this is the next stage. This is stage two is different depending on what path you're doing because there's three paths. But this one, it'll be complete darkness. And what you want to be doing is looking for the light. There's the light. The darkness will just get stronger and stronger until you stand in the light and the light will change. You also get these eggs that come down and this burning attack. These will spawn spiders, but you can destroy them by standing in it ready. For the burning attack you also get attacked randomly by mage and range uh, you can pray a flick it um you might as well I, I just don't play as good when i'm recording so i got hit by that range attack so here he'll run at you and there will be an option to oh i fuck that up uh, but there'll be arrow keys if you do fail it like i do you will have to usually do it again in higher in rage but for some reason it let me do it fine uh, but yeah, you just tell by the way he's swinging his legs which way to jump. If he's like, you know, swinging each side, you go towards it or you jump or so on. Uh, but yeah, in this stage, he'll have all the mechanics from the first stage. So the special every five. Um, it's not as important to use Anticipating Freedom. Obviously, it does help. But he will have uh, a few new abilities. Like that one, he'll do the darkness because we've come through the darkness path. Um, I think if you're in the middle and top, he can do the mechanic of the path there as well. Uh, yeah, plus he'll spawn some acidic spiders. There is a, a one-hit mechanic as well, so you do want to keep an eye out for that. Uh, there's the acidic spider, but he will spawn like a little green spider that if it touches you, it's a guaranteed kill. So it seems this kill, he's not actually spawning the uh, the death spider. He's spawning like, all these little spiders. I think it has something to do with every day it's different because they block a path every day. So this is the final stage. As you noticed, I've used nearly all my food. I've not actually had any experience dealing with that spawning spider mechanic. But this is literally everything on steroids together, plus a load of other shit. So he still does the five attacks. It's a lot to focus on. Oh, God, that was really bad timing. So he's done his uh, special attack. But what he also does is he'll see, look, range attacks. Range attacks. There'll be mage attacks. Mage attacks. So you got to prey a flick the whole fight, plus still with the special attacks plus another mechanic you'll see shortly here's where i'll probably die but what we have now is this black thing bouncing around as well which will then hit you every certain amount of attacks i'm just gonna die here on purpose really but you've seen all the mechanics so the last boss at first is really challenging because it's a lot to think about so you've got the prayer flicking you've got the a special attack every five attacks to deal with so you have to freedom and anticipate and then when he's really low health he spawns that black mist which jumps around every three jumps and then hits you you then have to move so there's so much many things you have to be thinking about during killing that all right boys i'm getting impatient i was going to wait with 120 defense till i had 120 thieving but i'm impatient that's going to take a while i'm just going to get my first 120 defense in 200 kxp so like five minutes all right, lads, it's time for the 120. I don't know if this lamp is going to be enough. Uh, bonus XP? Um, or we just want straight XP. So let's see. Will it be enough? Yes, it will. There we go. 120 defense has been achieved. The first 120 I did not expect 
to uh, have a 120 and the like. I think it's been just over a year, but obviously I've had some big breaks and stuff. But, you know, ED3 is broken. Let's say this 120 is uh, a protest to nerf ED3, boys. Oh, mate, I'm so excited to put this on. I am so excited. This cape is going to be so beautiful. Holy shit, that looks good. Nice. We got the particles going, boys. I do like the 120s. The, the normal 99s are fucking terrible, but the, the 120s, they're absolutely beautiful. Alright, lads, so I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Probably be a while till the next one, because I am real serious about getting myself up to 120 thief, and getting 120 defense has motivated me to get another 120, boys, and this is the one I want more than any of the other ones. But yeah, if you enjoyed, smash us with a like, and uh, catch you in the next one.